Hello everyone, welcome to Deadly Games Painting Tutorial today. Today I'm going to be painting a the flesh of a gore. You see, as you can see, I've undercoated this miniature brown, and the goal is to end up getting it like this guy. Just get the camera to focus. It's not hard, but it's a very simple technique that I'll show you here. For this, you will be need flayed lint flush, zanery dust, and raking lint flush shade. All right, to start, we will load up our brush nice and and, and lightly with zanery dust. All the pa paints you will see in this thing are from the Citadel range, so just go to their site and get that. All right, we'll start by brushing a little bit off our brush. Our thing to is the dry brush and then stroke lightly across the flesh. Almost dry brush in here. Just enough to cover the muscles with. The miniature I'm using here is from the Warhammer Age of Sigmar range and is a gore horn blower from the gore unit set. And with that complete, and you can see our gore is already popped out a little bit. We are going to paint next with a layer of same application of flayed one flesh. Except this time we'll be using a smaller brush, a more simplistic technique of just getting the raised areas. Load up your brush nice because you're going to need a lot of this. See how I do it like so. Just lightly glide over the top of the muscles. And if you get too much on the first time, that's alright. Our next step will fix that. And with that done, you'll notice that our layers pop down more. Now for this, our next step, we are going to take Reikland Flesh Shade. Load up your brush nice and heavily with it. And just apply everywhere you fleshed over. You can reuse the paint. Any re extra, you will, should administer to the rest of the gore. And yes, their name is simply just G-O-R. I chose this mini for this tutorial because there's a lot of flesh on it, and it could be really any color. And with that on right now, we are going to let it sit for about 15 minutes and let it dry. Alright, now, after it has dried, we are going to take our little brush of flavor and flesh again. And just do as we did. The second step, and just slightly go over everything once more. And as you're doing this, you will notice that everything starts to pop more, creating the perfect fleshy effect. Or at least tanned flesh anyways. I'll eventually do a video on darker flesh. And with that done, we are ready to start doing the details on the mini, such as the nipples, the eyes, the nose, the beard, the horns, etc. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Have a great day. God bless.